Hello everyone, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. And I know, I know I told you on the last Tumblr video I was not going to do any more vinyl wraps for a while. But I have to make an exception because Christmas is coming and these are for my brothers. I have two older brothers. I've never made them a Tumblr before. I don't even know if they know that I have a channel. <laughs> but either way, they're going to get a video since it's my brother's. So I have already prepped these two. I filled this little indentation in with UV resin like I always do. So we have a flat bottom here. I've sanded the surface, just scratched it up with whatever sandpaper I had laying around. No big deal. So for my one brother, you may have seen his video a while back last week or so, and I made them an ornament for their new puppy. So I'm trying to incorporate their dog and his business. So he owns West Coast Auction Company here in Southwest Florida. And I was trying to think of a way to do a Tumblr just with his business name and things on it like that. But then I'm like, it's just going to be really boring because I can't do glitter on a men's Tumblr. What can I put a background? So I found these on Creative Fabrica and he just bought a Rottweiler. So I'm thinking if I wrap it like this, I can put on the back. I haven't sealed these yet, so I'm trying to be very careful. I could probably put his business name down the back seam instead of washi tape. That's my thoughts anyway. We'll see if that happens. I have not sealed this, so like I said, I'm trying to be careful. Now for my other brother, he owns a couple Harley Davidson motorcycles. So I knew this was going to go on his Tumblr. And then I'm like thinking, what could I do for a background? Is it just going to be boring black and white or orange? And he put flames on them. So I printed out some flames. So I think I'm going to wrap his Tumblr and put that in the center there. I may cut this white off. I probably will. I'm not sure. So I'm going to have a dual wrap on his um. Yeah, I'm not sure his name's going to go on here. I'm not sure yet. So I'm kind of playing it by ear because I'm just figuring this out. So what I'm going to do now without you, I'm going to go and spray paint the tumblers black. And I'm going to seal these with a clear sealer of any brand. Three times, I think. Three times each way, like this way and then this way. I'll let it dry between seals, and I'm going to do that three times so nothing cracks and the, the inks don't get moved because these were done on my inkjet printer. If you want to know everything that I'm using, look in my description box down to the printer to Creative Fabrica downloads, to Creative Fabrica links so you can get free downloads to everything, sealers, whatever, tumblers, whatever you need. It's always in my description box. So let me take a little break, go get everything sprayed, and I will be right back. So after Christmas shopping today and not finding very much for anybody, I was looking for my one sister-in-law who's in the ending stages of her nursing school. So I decided I'm just going to make her a tumbler too. So I'm adding that to the video. So this is the one. I picked for her and that's what this one says. These are all from Creative Fabrica except the Harley Davidson. I snagged that off of Google because Har uh, Creative Fabrica doesn't do that anything with um, uh, logos like that. But the flames I got, this one I got, the dog I got all off Creative Fabrica. And I have cut them to size that I want already with my paper slicer. I've got the spray paint on here and I used my square like this to draw a line to get a straight line. So I'm going to start with this one because I already have it ready and I decided to leave the white on just because it made the words stand out a little bit more. And I'm just going to peel back like I always do, one inch, if I can with gloves on. I'm just going to peel back and then I'm going to kind of dry fit it on there. 
if I can get this open. Oh, okay, there we go. I'm kind of gonna going to kind of get everything on the cup that I want on there as far as wording, lettering, names right now, um, if I can, over vinyl. That way I could seal it all in at the same time. So just line this up on your line the best that you can, also from top to bottom, but try it first. Okay, well that lined up good the first time, that's amazing. And I just start to unpeel that over the cup. This one is going to be a little thicker because I do have two pieces of vinyl on the middle of it. And it's gonna be a little more tricky because you have areas for two bubbles. I cannot stand gloves, you guys, I hate them. But I don't want to take them off just for this step because I'm going to need them here in a minute. Now these papers have all been sprayed with sealer. So all of the uh, inks from my printer. That looks good. I'm probably going to try to find a washi tape for this right now. Well, after I get the other ones on. Oh, there's a bubble right there. So make sure all your bubbles are out. Your seams are good. Everything looks matte now because of the matte spray that I put on there, but that doesn't matter because the resin is gonna shine it right back up. Okay, let me get the next one. Now this one I ended up sp spraying the whole thing black because I cut this like, super short. I didn't want it to meet together at the end because I wanted a place to be able to put his um, business name on the back. So that's why this one is going to be smaller. So I did have to go paint the whole cup. And that's not straight. And you have more of um, what's the word I'm looking for? If you're pulling this off of the paint you have more of a chance of pulling paint off. So pull it off slowly if you have to readjust it. This one I think I'm going to like frame out, but I still want it to kind of be, that looks good, as even as I possibly can. So I had left enough space in the back of the cup to put the name of the company. Since this dog, they said, is going to be the company dog, they bring him to work every day. So it's only fitting that I put a picture of Cole. Cole is the dog's name onto the cup. All right, so there is that. And I will find a tape to match this one or just black or something. So I left that space open here, so I'm going to put the... Somehow, I'll have to figure out how I want that. But I will get that on after it's covered in resin. I don't want to put vinyl lettering because if I have to readjust, it's going to pull off the paint. So I'm going to put a coat of resin on this one before I do that. So let me grab the nursing one. All right, I ditched the gloves. They are just getting in the way. So this one, I painted blue because I'm going to get her some glitter, finally a glitter one. I'm gonna do a little mixture of these two, which is my Oceana and my Atlantic. So this one is a medium and this one is a fine, so I'm gonna use them both. But this time, I'm gonna do it a little different than I usually do. Usually I put the glitter on first. I am going to see, oops, there's something underneath the vinyl right there. piece of resin. This time I'm going to see if my painter's tape will ruin this vinyl. Got to test it somehow, right? And yeah, that's not on too good. So I definitely need to do washi tape. Okay. So I'm going to get some painter's tape on here and get some Mod Podge and Mod Podge my top and my bottom and see if it will pull off without ruining our vinyl. 
I've got my Mod Podge here in this bottle. So what I'm going to do is get some on... Ew, that's all dried up in there. I'm going to get some on the top and the bottom. Now let me try the top first before I ruin the bottom. Get some glitter on and pull the tape off. And hopefully the tape won't ruin what I've already done on the vinyl. I just don't trust it because it's just an inkjet printer. Can't do a whole lot with two colors on here, but I'm going to try. I'm going to get my chunky stuff on first because I know that that will stick. And then you'll fill in the, all the other spots with your fine. I'm just going to put this back in my container before I do the fine glitter so I don't mix them together. Or you can get a couple sheets of paper, whatever is easier for you. There wasn't that much to save, but. And for this one, I'm just going to dump it on because it's going to fill in everything else. And then once it's dry, I'll dry brush it's the loose stuff off and I'll probably well I'm gonna seal it in no matter what so it will get sealed as well so that looks pretty now let's take the tape off and see how the vinyl looks oh it's gonna work now I don't have an uneven layer under the vinyl so now I know I can do that. And uh, I'm gonna put the washi tape there. Let me do the bottom now. Once I put this back in the container. Okay, now I did UV resin this one too. Just that little portion in the center. I don't have a ton of space on the bottom of these because these are 20 ounce tumblers. So the 30 ounce would have had a long, lot, or, lot more space to work with, but I did not have three 30 ounces on hand. They are on order right now. So I'm working with 20s today. Same thing. This one has blues and greens in it. I love this glitter. Okay. And then we're going to take the other one just the same as the top and just pour it really thick over it. And then when you shake off the fine glitter, the, the chunky glitter comes through. And you see the greens and the blues in there? I just tap it down and uh, lay it down as flat as I can. Now there is glue coming through, I see. So I'm just going to pour, pour this back over it again and tap it off. Uh, Cause that just means my glue is a little too thick. No big deal. All right, I'm gonna set this over on the turner until it's dry, and then I'll work on the other two's washi tape. So for this one, being that I don't have a lot of choices for men without glitter, I'm just gonna do white around the rim and black around the inner portion. And then if I have enough white, which I should, I'll do white around the Rottweiler other problem with these that don't have glitter is you could see through them so I'm not a big fan of them I might not even end up using this 
because if you could see through it, or I could go around twice, I guess, but that's just making it thicker. Some washi tapes are just cheap. I don't know where I get these. I just pick them up and now, you know, when you don't like them, then you don't know where not to buy them again. I think I'm gonna go around again, make it a little darker white so you can't see through it. It's pretty thin, I guess it's not a big deal as far as thickness goes on your cup. You just have to use more. So hopefully I will have enough for the other cup to go around twice too, I don't know. That's why I'm not a big fan of making men's cups because they're not as fun, they're not as easy. They have to be almost perfect because you don't have glitter to hide behind. Like glitter covers a multitude of problems. Whoops. Going a little crooked there. that one is done I don't know if I'm gonna put his name on it um, maybe I'll put something back here let me put some black back here I don't know where his name would go nicely. Um, it would be off center up there because there's my black spot. So maybe I'll just leave his name off of it. I guess I could put it on the bottom. I don't know, I'll think about that. I can always add it later. I'm trying to get that off, but I don't want to scratch my paint. But I think this one is good. I think that one's good. Let's work on the dog, let's see, I'm gonna do white lettering. So I'm going to do white, um, yeah. I put two coats of the white on the, the dog one. I just didn't show it repeated over. So I'm gonna do this pink one on this one. So I'm just gonna start at the back here. And just go right underneath the glitter line. Doesn't need to have it, but I don't know. I kind of like the way it looks to have the outline. Okay, I've got all the tape on, glitter's dry. I'm going to use my Qu 
quick coat urethane sealer. This is made by Counterculture DIY. This is non-toxic, so you can use it without gloves. And I'm just gonna put this on exactly the same way I put on resin with my hand and kind of get it in, let me start over here. Get it on everything and let it dry, especially the tape, especially your vinyl. And uh, basically it dries very quickly and then once it's dry and nothing is lifted, then you can start adding your resin. I'll add like one to two, well probably one coat on this one before I add his name. I think this is the only one I'm going to add the name to. I don't think I'm going to put any more vinyl on the other ones. Just because, I don't know, there's really no room to do it. So just kind of pour it on and make sure it gets everywhere, especially the washi tape. The washi tape is probably the most important to get sealed down. Try to keep it even too, otherwise it'll dry weird. Gets a little extra on that one. You don't need a lot. I'm just trying to avoid puddles. Or it won't dry evenly. dry well I thought they were and as I gave them one check over I noticed this middle one the very corner of the washi tape did not adhere down so I'm not going to do that one yet I've got to fix that corner I am I mixed up um, 40 milliliters of my favorite resin for tumblers which is the counterculture DIY fast set because it it cures really really quickly now when you're doing some that get glitter and some that don't get glitter, you always cover the ones without the glitter first. And then I'm going to be putting in, this is my rainbow shimmer. And this has a really gorgeous shimmer with all the colors of the rainbow in it. So once I get this one covered with no glitter, then I'm going to add my shimmer to it, the rest of the resin, and uh, get it on the my sister-in-law's but I was not happy to see that that washi tape lifted I guess I had too much sealer right there on the corner because it was still wet too so now I'm just gonna redo that one while I wait for these to cure and get that one coated after but definitely recheck them before you start putting your resin on because it will be a nightmare if your washi tape lifts from underneath your resin. My cup is a little bit crooked here, but it should be okay. Now this fast set sets fast. You don't have a lot of working time with this, so you can't really mix up a whole bunch of cups if you're using it on a bunch of cups. You don't wanna do that. I do two maximum at a time because then it starts to get really tacky and you want to be able to get your, your torch out in the meantime to pop any bubbles before that happens, which I'm going to do right now really quickly because I do want to get my glitter in the other one. Ugh. So pop your bubbles. Let it cure, and then if you want to add any more vinyls, then you would do that. This way it's not going to ruin the, the paint job on there. And you can um, sand between coats as well. 
which most of the time you need to. All right, I'm just going to get a little bit of the glitter in the rest of this. That way there's a nice little shimmer to that cup over there. And I gotta get this on quickly before it starts curing. I don't think I have it very tight. It's already starting to get warm, so I gotta do this as fast as possible. But that's why I like it, because you can put a, several coats on. You can actually finish a tumbler in one day if you start in the morning. And then if you have a tumbler curing machine, that helps a lot too. But because I'm doing three at once, the curing machine only does two at once, so I can't use it. But that's okay, I'm not in a hurry. We still have a couple weeks till Christmas. And these are probably gonna get a minimum of three coats each. So I'm just gonna get this one on evenly and then torch this one and then let them spin. Get the excess off the bottom because your bottom you want flat. I'm gonna grab my torch. All right, now I'm gonna work on that one. All three are doing pretty good. They don't really need any sanding yet, so I'm going to go ahead and put the decal of his name after I wash it down with a little bit of alcohol. And then I'm going to coat them again, and I may sand them on the next coat if they need them. So let's see, that's gonna be the bottom. I want this, I have two things to put on there, the little gavel that they use at the auction. So I want that at the bottom. I think I will put that here. And then his name above it. Not really his name, but, whoops. Make sure they're adhered so you don't rip it off. And then, let's see, we will do his company name here. Oh, it almost didn't fit. Ideally, you should seal this in again with a sealer. But because I want the, all three at the same stage on coat number two, I'm just going to go ahead and put, I don't know, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a new coat of resin on. This is a pretty sticky um, permanent vinyl. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix up some more resin and get them moving.
right, they all behaved very nicely. I didn't have to sand them down. I will show you how I clean them. And that will be the end. This one came out really super sparkly. And all I basically do is trim the rim, <laughs> trim the rim with my knife, which there's not a whole lot on this one. Get any resin off. All the way around and then clean it with acetone to get any overspray uh, from the spray paint out. And give it a good washing, which I don't see any spray paint in this one. Give it a good washing with soap and water and package it up for your gift. Oh yeah, see there was some. Couldn't see it on the stainless steel. And that's pretty much it. I will get you some pictures of all three finished products. I didn't put the sticker on the bottom because they didn't need it. All right, you guys, here's the other one. I'll do that one. I don't have the other one sitting here, but they are all gonna get done. And you'll see them in just one second. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me today. I hope you learned something. Go out on a limb, try one, you will love it. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow, bye.